This video is being sponsored by EA. Special thanks for inviting me to this capture event. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a special FIFA 23 tutorial here on my channel. Today we're going to talk about the most overpowered trick in FIFA 23 and surprise, surprise, it is not a new trick. It is the comeback of the step over from FIFA 20. And before getting started boys, make sure to smash the like button, let's try and get over 1000 likes, that would be awesome and much much appreciated. This particular skill move, the step over, was extremely good in FIFA 20. At the beginning, the first 2-3 months, it was just destroying defenses. It was that good that EA Sports decided to patch this trick. Well, now in FIFA 23, it is back and let's see how you can perform it. All you have to do is move the right analog in front of the player and then do a semicircle to his left or to his right as seen in this example. Immediately after you finished doing this move with the right analog, move the left analog to the left or to the right of your player. Very, very important here. The movement of the left analog must be at an angle lower than 90 degrees, else the entire motion of the skill move will lose speed and become almost useless. Let's also check a few examples and we are seeing Marcus Rashford here performing the step over and then boom, going with super max speed towards the opponent's goal. And this is the first thing that pops in mind when thinking about the step over. It gives an insane speed boost. One very important thing, if you will do it on your player's dominant foot, for example, uh, as you are seeing Ronaldo right here, the movement, in my opinion, will be faster. The speed boost will be faster and you will be able to get into a finishing position faster and easier amazing to use on counter-attacks. Just look how Ronaldo goes over here. Um, indeed, that's Pique that he got past to, but you have to remember and you have to know that the step over gives a speed boost to your player. That is extremely, extremely uh, important. Now, another thing that is so good with the step over is the fact that your player is kind of protecting the ball when performing. As you are seeing here, my player just goes past the defender and the defender just doesn't have a chance to do a tackle, to do anything. Uh, the motion of the step over is so precise and so good that it doesn't give that opportunity to the opponent. So remember, step overs protect the ball, help you get past the defender while protecting the ball. Last but not least. <laughs> you can have both of the two worlds, of course. You can protect the ball when doing the step over and at the same time get the speed boost after you've completed the step over. As you are seeing in this example right here, Ronaldo does beautifully the step over, gets the speed boost, gets alone with the goalkeeper and I'm such a noob for missing uh, that chance over there. Again, Ronaldo here doing the step over getting that speed boost and hopefully now scoring a goal with the new power shot a new feature that ea sports has added in fifa 23. there you have it boys speed boost with the step over protecting the ball with the step over putting the ball in the perfect position for a shot with the step over and of course a bit of both worlds with the step over combining the protect the ball feature with the speed boost this will be all for today's video. Drop a comment below. Let me know what do you think about this trick. Will it be patched super fast by EA? I'm thinking it might. But at least in the first 2-3 months, it will be of great, great help to the ones using it. Have an awesome, awesome day, everyone. Don't forget to drop a like. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the next videos. Bye-bye.